Okay, we are going to cover section 2.5 material here. Um, 2.5 is uh, still lines again. This is going to be equations and linear models. So we're going to start out with a point slope form. And this is a form of the line. It's uh, y1, or sorry, y minus y1. So it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So when you write a line in this form, all you need is the slope of the line. So m is the slope of a line. And the ordered pair x1, y1, this is any point on the line. And then basically what you do is you substitute the number in for m, you substitute x1 in for x1, you substitute y1 in for y1, and you leave y and x as variables. So uh, first example, say a line has slope uh, 3 and passes through uh, point, we'll say 2, 4. We want to write the equation. of the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, 3, this right here, this 3 is acting as the m in the equation. The 2 here from the point that we know the line passes through, that's acting as x1. And the 4 here is acting as y1. So in our equation, we get y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We get y minus the y1 value, which is 4, equals m, which the slope is 3, times x minus the x1 value, which is 2. And this is point, uh, point slope form of a line, so we're able to leave a line equation just like that. So that's, that's our equation of a line for that situation. Okay, so next problem, they're going to give us two points. So they say... Uh, for this example here, we have uh, points uh, 2, 4, and negative 3, 6 are on a line. We want to find the equation of the line. So we're able to choose whichever point we want to use for x1 and y1. It doesn't really matter. So I think this time I'm going to say negative 3, the x value here, negative 3, we're going to use that for x1. And 6, the y value of the point, we'll use that for y1. No real reason I chose this point. I could have chosen the other point and made 2x1 and 4y1, and that would have been fine as well. Uh, problem here is we need to figure out our slope. We don't know our slope, so we're going to use the slope formula. We get 6, the y value of the second point, minus 4, y value of that point over negative 3 minus 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So this is my slope m. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Uh, we get y minus y1 was 6. That equals the slope, which is negative 2 fifths, times x minus uh, x1 is negative 3. And normally we don't leave a minus a negative. We would rewrite this and make the minus a negative a positive value. And then we'll leave our answer in point slope form and say that that's the slope of our line or the equation of our line. So we get that. Okay, so it's a couple of point slope form examples. Uh, there is a more common example that you guys see. It's a more common form called slope-intercept form. This is the y equals mx plus b form that we're kind of used to. In this form, m is the slope. And b is the y-intercept. Okay, so we're going to do a couple problems with this. So 
they want us to go through and they give us uh, a line, they give us an equation, um, 4x plus 5y equals negative 10. And they want us to write the equation in slope-intercept form. So to do that, basically, we just need to solve this equation for y. So step one, the negative 4x, I'm going to push that over to the other side of the equation. So I leave my y term here. I get negative 4x minus 10. To get y completely by itself, I divide everybody by 5. And I get y equals negative 4 fifths times x. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And this right here is the slope-intercept form of that line. They didn't ask it, but the slope m is negative 4 fifths, and the y-intercept would be negative 2. And that's basically how we handle uh, that type right there. Um, we get another couple, uh, another couple things here. They're going to give us two points and want us to find slope-intercept form from that. So we're going to say, uh, for this example here, let's say we have uh, points 3, 1 and point 5, negative 2 are on a line. We want to write the slope-intercept form of the line. Okay, so basically, we don't know from these points here, we don't know the slope or the y-intercept. So step one is let's figure out the slope. Uh, y2 is negative 2 minus y1 is positive 1. All that over x2, which is 5, minus x1, which is 3. This gives me negative 3 for the top. 5 minus 3 is 2. So negative 3 halves is my slope. Now... There's a uh, couple different ways that we can go about uh, can go about doing this. Uh, I think the way that they teach it in Algebra 2 in, in the school, so I'm going to try to do it that way, is they say, all right, take y equals mx plus b. Substitute your slope in for m, so we get y equals negative 3 halves x plus b. And then they say, take take one of these two points. So I'm going to take this 3, 1 point because it looks like it might be a little easier to use. Plug the x value in for x. Plug the y value 1 in for y. And then solve the resulting equation for b. So what we get here, we get 1, minus, uh, one equals negative 9 halves plus b. So I'll need to add the 9 halves across. 1 plus 9 halves is b. 1 in terms of halves, 1 is actually 2 halves. So 2 halves plus 9 halves is 11 halves is b. And now that we know the b value, we can rewrite our equation. y equals m, which was negative 3 halves, times x plus b, which b is 11 halves and that would be our slope intercept form of our line. So if we're given two points, that's a method you can use to go through and get the equation of the line. You find the slope first, then you write y equals mx plus b, you substitute the slope in for m, choose whichever point, if we chose the other point, we still would get the same answer for b, so choose whichever point looks easier, substitute it in for x and y, and then you're able to solve the resulting, uh, the resulting equation. You're able to solve that for B. Okay, so let's see here. So next what we want to do is uh, talk a little bit about getting an uh, equation from a graph. So suppose we had a graph like this. And we know the point 1, 1's on the graph. And we have the point out here, x value 3, y value 2, is also on the graph. So suppose we have these two points. 
And based on this information here, we want to figure out what's, uh, what's the equation of the line. Um, so let's do in part A, let's do point slope form. And then part B, let's do slope intercept. And we're actually going to use point slope form for these types of problems. We're going to use point slope form as the starting point on these always. And then we'll solve them to get slope intercept form. So for point slope form, I need, this, I need a point that the line passes through. And the point 1, 1 right here looks like that's about as easy of a point to work with as there is. So let's use that point. And then we can use rise over run. If I have a rise up one unit, I have a run to the right of two units, and that gets me to the next point on the line. So my slope M is rise, uh, which is one over run, which is two. So my slope M is a half. So I get Y minus the Y value of the point, which is the one right there, equals one half times X minus the x value of the point, which is this right here, also happens to be one. And for part A, this is my equation in point slope form. Now, if you wanna to go to slope intercept form from this form, the easiest way to do it is we'll distribute the one half and basically we solve this equation for y. So we get y minus one equals one half x minus a half so I distributed the half here on the right-hand side. So I'll add one across, and I'll get y equals one-half x plus one-half. And that's slope-intercept form. So if you're given a graph and you're asked to get slope-intercept form, rather than trying to figure out what the y-intercept is, it's a lot easier. Just write the equation down in point-slope form, and then solve it for y, and you get slope-intercept form uh, from that really easily. And since you're given points that the line passes through to figure out rise over run, you know uh, a point the line passes through for point slope form. So a um, couple different things that we need to talk about. Um, this is going to be slopes of uh, vertical and horizontal lines. And we need um, some stuff about parallel and perpendicular lines. So we say vertical lines. Uh, have equation or vertical lines we'll say through a point a comma b have equation uh, if your vertical line all your x values are the same so vertical line will have the equation uh, x equals a horizontal lines uh, through a point uh, a B uh, has equation y equals B because a horizontal line has all the same y values should note vertical lines are perpendicular the horizontal lines and the reverse is true horizontal lines are also perpendicular to vertical lines so vertical and horizontal lines are perpendicular to each other um, when you say a little bit about parallel and perpendicular lines uh, parallel lines we say two lines are parallel So two lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Okay, and then for perpendicular lines, we'll say uh, two lines are perpendicular if and only if uh, one of the slopes is the negative reciprocal of the other. So for perpendicular lines, so 
Okay, two lines are perpendicular. I'll use a little perpendicular symbol. If and only if. Uh, there's two ways to say it. Uh, we could say their product, the product of their slopes, is negative one, which uh, means one is the negative reciprocal of the other. Okay. So to finish this section off, they're going to have us do some uh, couple things involving parallel and perpendicular lines. So uh, first example here, let's say that uh, we want to write the equation of the line. That is uh, part A, parallel. Part B, perpendicular uh, to the line x equals 7, and that passes through uh, point 1, 4. So what this problem statement is giving me is they say, okay, you have this line x equals 7, which is a vertical line out here. You also are given this point x value 1, y value 4. Part A wants you to come up with... Uh, so part A wants you to come up with the parallel, a line parallel to this line that passes through that point 1, 4, which is going to look like another vertical line here. And the equation of that vertical line, since uh, for part A, it's going to be x equals the x value of the point the, that line's supposed to pass through. So for part A, your answer is x equals 1. That's the uh, parallel line to this vertical line that passes through the point 1, 4. For part B, they want what's the uh, perpendicular line. If you're, if you're perpendicular to a vertical line, that means you're a horizontal line. So part B is asking me, what's the horizontal line that passes through that point? And from what we set up above, a horizontal line will have all the same y values. So you just need to make the y value the same as the y value of the point. And that's your answer. So in this one, there's not really too much calculations to do, but you have to kind of be able to figure out what it's asking you to do. And then the uh, final final problem that we have, this is a type that you guys will see quite a bit uh, in this class. This is the final type here. It's going to be kind of similar to the one we did above. So we'll say um, find the equation... of a line that is part A parallel, part B perpendicular to the line 2x minus 4y equals 6 and that passes through point one negative 3. So we know a point the line passes through. We're not too sure what this line looks like. We know it's probably diagonal, but beyond that, we're not too sure. So in these, step one is take this, uh, take this line that they gave you, and you need to get down to slope intercept form so you can kind of see what you're actually dealing with, and we can kind of get some idea of what the slope of this line might be. So we're going to get negative 4y equals the positive 2x. I'm going to subtract across the equals. So that comes over as a negative 2x. We have a plus 6. I divide everybody by negative 4. So 
cancels here. I get y equals negative, or sorry, this is positive, because negative divided by negative is positive. So it's positive 1 half x minus 6 fourths reduces down to 3 halves. So I can see that the slope of my line, the slope of my line is 1 half. And real quick, before we do the rest of this, um, what they're asking us to do so we have this line here that's negative 3 halves. So negative 3 halves is negative 1 and a half. That's the y-intercept of the line. Every time I go up 1, I go to the right. So go up 1, I go to the right, 1, 2. So I have a line that's basically some diagonal line like this. This is the one I'm given. And so what they give me is they say, you have this point, x value 1, y value 1, 2, 3. You have this point down here. And part A is asking you, what's the equation of a parallel line to the line, that diagonal line you're given? This is what part A wants you to find, is the equation of this line that passes through that point, one, one negative three, that's parallel to the given line. And part B wants you to figure out what's the equation of the line that passes through this line, or what's the equation of that line that passes through that point that's perpendicular to the given line. So that's what part B is trying to ask you to generate. So how we're going to do this, since they really didn't specify which form of a line to use, we're going to use point slope form because we have a point and since we know the slope of the line that we're given, we're able to generate the parallel and perpendicular slope pretty easily. So for the parallel slope, I'm going to use M with two little lines here, M parallel. Uh, Two lines are parallel if they have the same slope, so the parallel line is going to have the same slope as uh, this equation that they gave us. The perpendicular line, which is going to be for part B, that has the negative reciprocal. So what that means is flip the fraction over, so 1 over 2 becomes 2 over 1, which is just 2, and make it negative. So now I know my slope for part A, my slope for part B, and I know the point that they pass through. So when I go to write my answers, part A, it's y minus the y value of the point, which is negative 3. y minus a negative 3 is going to be y plus, uh, plus 3. So I'm going to clean that up as I write it down. That equals m parallel, which is 1 half. It's the same as the slope of this line, times x minus the x value of the point, which is 1. So this is my answer in point slope form. If you all get a problem that says figure out the slope-intercept form from point-slope form to get slope-intercept is easy, you just distribute the half, subtract the 3 over, and then you're in slope-intercept form. For part B, we have y minus the y value of the point. Uh, the y value of the point is negative 3. Minus a negative 3 is plus, so this is actually y plus 3 equals the perpendicular slope this time, which is negative 2 times x minus the x value of the point, which is 1. And again, this is point slope form. If I wanted to get it into slope intercept form, uh, to do that, I would just solve it for y. So I'd distribute the negative 2. Then I'd subtract the 3 across, and that would be slope intercept form. And that's basically what's in section 2.5. So we're going to stop there, and uh, we'll get 2.6 and 2.7 posted uh, in the next, next uh, day or two.